Hello everyone. Now worksheet 4. Worksheet 4 is question 2. Find the amount for, from the investment 4500 for 2 years at 5 paise per rupee interest. 5 paise per rupee interest. We have to find out the amount and investment is given. So it means that this is the principal. Time is given 2 years and this 5 paise per rupee interest is the rate of interest. So let's go for the question. So principal. Principal in this case is rupees 4500. Time is given 2 years and rate is given rate is given as rate of interest or rate is 5 paise per rupee. So we will convert it in percentage form. So it would be 5 paise convert it in rupee 5 paise into 100. So this will come as 5% per annum. 5% per annum as the rate of interest. Now, to get the amount, first we will find out the simple interest. So, simple interest formula is PRT upon 100. So, by using this formula, we will find out the simple interest. Substitute the value 4500. 4500. Then, rate. R is given 5 and time is given 2 upon 100. Cancel the terms. So you will be getting 450 as simple interest. 450 as simple interest. Now the question is that you have to find out the amount. So what is the formula for amount? Amount equals simple interest plus principal. Or principal plus simple interest. Now, simple interest is 450 and the principal is 4500. Add them together, then you will be getting as 4950 as amount. So, this is the answer of question number 2. In question 3, Question 3 is Ramesh took a loan for rupees 80,000. So loan for of rupees 80,000 from the bank. So this is a principal and 12% per annum is rate over here and then and paid it back after 7 months. So this is the time together with the interest find the amount. So principal here principal is Rupees 80,000. Rate of interest. Rate of interest is given 12% per annum. Per annum. And time is given 7 months. So always the time will be in years. So what will you do? You will convert it in years. So it will become 7 upon 12 years. Now to find out the simple interest first. So, PRT upon 100. So, apply the formula. 80,000. Rate is 12. Time is 7 upon 12. And upon 100. So, the terms would be cancelled out here. 0 will be cancelled out. So, this is 5600 is the simple interest. 5600 is the simple interest. Now we have to find out the amount. So amount formula is principal plus simple interest. Principal plus simple interest. Put the value here 80,000 plus simple interest is 5600. Add them together. Get the answer of amount. So this is the amount here. Now question 4th. 
क्वेश्चन फोर्थ इज राहुल डिपॉजिटेड रुपीज सेवन थाउजेंड सो दिस इज प्रिंसिपल एट सेवन परसेंट पर एन एम फॉर फोर एंड हाफ ईयर सो दिस इज टाइम एंड रोहन डिपॉजिटेड सेवन थाउजेंड एट फाइव सिक्स परसेंट सो दिस इज रेट सेवन थाउजेंड इज प्रिंसिपल हेयर फॉर फाइव ईयर सो दिस इज टाइम who will get who will get more interest and what amount will each get so it, it means that we have to find out the amount for rahul as well as rohan and then we have to again find out who will get more interest so two things we have to find out so in this case we will be taking <coughs> the question for rahul and rohan separately rohan the so principal for rahul rupees 7000 rate is given 7% per annum per annum and time is given time given as 4 and 1/2 years so 4 and 1/2 years so this is equals to 9 by 2 years 9 by 2 years so first thing we will find out the simple interest formula you know it very well prt upon 100 now put the value 7000 rate 7 and time is 9 by 2 upon 100 so cancel the terms and this goes with 35 now we will multiply all the terms together 35 multiply 7 multiply 9 so this is coming as rupees 2205 and now we will find out the amount so amount is principal plus simple interest so let's see what amount we will get it here principal is 7000 plus simple interest 22205 22, so if we will add them together we will be getting rupees 9205 as the amount in this case now next thing is <clears throat> to find out for rohan for rohan the principal is what what is the principal here for rohan the principal is same as rupees 7000 rate is given 6% per annum and time is given 5 years now we will be finding out the simple interest same formula prt upon 100 p r t upon 100 cancel the terms so you will be getting after multiplying it 70 multiply 6 multiply 7 so we will be getting simple interest as 2940 now again we will find out the amount that is principal plus simple interest so 7000 plus 2940 now add them together so it would be 9940 as the amount 9940 as the amount here the time is 5 years it's not 7 years so do the correction here the time is 5 years 5 and this is also 5 so we will be getting the different answer here it would be 70 multiply 6 multiply 5 so answer will be 2100 so 2100 add them together with 7000 so we will be getting its answer as 9100 rupees now the question is 
what is the question who will get more interest look here the simple interest is 2205 and here the simple interest is 2100 so who will get more interest who will get more interest rahul will get more interest rahul will get more interest and second question is what amount will each get so the amount will each get as 9205 for rahul and for rohan the amount is 9100 i hope this question is clear now now question number 5 Question five is Ramit deposited rupees eighty thousand. So this is the principal in a bank which pays him six percent rate of interest. So this is rate. After three years, after three years, he withdraws the money and buys a car for rupees ninety thousand. How much money is left with him? so first we will try to find out the amount for depositing rupees 80000 so principal is rupees 80000 rate is given 6% per annum and time is given 3 years so we will be finding out the simple interest here so same formula that is prt upon 100 So eighty thousand rate is six and time is three upon hundred cancel it so you will be getting answer as eight eight hundred multiply six multiply three so this answer will be one double four zero zero so this is the simple interest. now we will be finding out the amount so amount formula is principal plus simple interest apply the formula 80000 put its value plus the simple interest will be how much 14400 so this is equals to this is equals to we'll write it over here amount equal 94400 this will be the amount ye amount aa gaya now the question is that after 3 years he withdraws the money and buys a car for rupees 90000 so cost price of car of car equal rupees 90000 and this amount he has got it from the bank after 3 years and from it he has purchased the car for rupees 90000 so how much money is left with him so amount left what it should be how will you do it amount left equal Nine four four double zero minus ninety thousand minus ninety thousand. So if you will subtract it, it will come as rupees forty four hundred. So this amount rupees forty four hundred will be left with him. I hope these questions are clear to all. That's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.